To take a closer look now at China's growth and the state of the global economy, we're joined once again by Marcus Mabry. He is the international business editor at The New York Times. Welcome back. Good to be here. So China today reported explosive new growth, and we've heard that the, um, the analysts are sort of questioning now, is this really economic growth or is it happening as a result of the stimulus program that China put in place, much like the U.S. did here? Martin, it's probably both. Uh, it certainly is real growth. Uh, the, the economy certainly is growing. There's no, no, no question about that. The question is, is this order of magnitude that the Chinese figures are showing uh, actually uh, true? Because in the past, we haven't always been certain of Chinese economic data, which comes from China, after all, and, and they don't have the same checks and balances that we do in an open economy like the U.S. The problem is that their half a trillion dollars in stimulus actually has moved much more directly into their economy than the, in the U.S. because U.S. banks have held a lot of the money that's been given to them, whereas in China, they've directed their lenders to lend that money out to the businesses and to individuals in their economy. That has had the effect of a tremendous amount of growth in China, growth you have not seen in the United States. So the concern is, of course, with this growth, especially in the area of real estate, mm -hmm. that there is a bubble much like we saw in this country, and that could be a real problem. Is there a bubble? There may well be a bubble. There's a huge debate between investors. We did a piece last week uh, in the business section uh, where, about an American investor who is convinced that there is a bubble in China right now. You never know about bubbles until it's too late. That's when you say, oh, well, things were overvalued. Uh, bubbles are also, an, uh, an, I think, a very regular part of the economic cycle. You know, you have uh, suddenly you flood a, a market with money. Uh, that money is used to inflate values, maybe more than uh, the underlying assets are worth. And then you, you pull back. You, you, you well, try you your monetary Do you policies. think China is aware there could be this growing bubble and trying to figure out what to do about it? Well, China, the Chinese government, like every government, walks a tightrope. You want to make sure you have enough stimulus in your economy so that you uh, don't uh, have recession, as we've all suffered through, uh, China having just escaped it. But you also don't want so much money in your economy, money to be so cheap that you actually inflate bubbles throughout the economy. Uh, China made the decision that they wanted to uh, have uh, the risk of bubbles, the risk of inflation, by keeping their economy growing. They've been successful in that. We'll see now if they can rein it back in without hurting their economy, and more importantly, hurting the global economy. Well, I was going to ask, what would that mean for us? China's economic growth is the engine keeping the world economy growing right now. Uh, the U.S., for the first time, is not that engine. China is that engine. In, in the space of a few decades, China will be a larger economy than the United States economy. This is, these numbers just underline the fact that China has riven to, risen to economic preeminence. I want to talk about two indicators in this country. There have been reports the past few days about freight traffic in this country slowing and, of course, unemployment claims rising. Um, what does that mean? Are we headed for a double dip? This is the fear of a double dip recession in the United States. The World Bank uh, put out a report uh, this week saying that there's also fear, a risk of a global uh, double dip, a global recession happening again this year. Uh, ironically, it's all going to come down to China, the engine for global economic growth. Probably. Uh, as important at this point as the United States, and in a few years, uh, the engine will probably be more important than the United States. All right, well, we'll continue to follow it here, thanks to your expertise. Marcus Mabry, a pleasure. Thank you.